All right, so <laughs> gotta say this is a first. I've never had a Y membership or a membership really to any other gym uh, than my own. And but I don't have a court that I can test on on a regular basis. So I'm going to the local Y. Me and Trey I'm about to buy Trey a membership too. So you can fuck the camera <laughs> and uh, get a Y membership. So we can do, this is day one of testing to see where my start point is. Now, a couple videos ago when I just talked about this process, um, I also gonna do a body weight check because I think that's gonna have a lot to do, especially with me being older and just the mathematics of getting up to the rim. And I was like, started out the process, you know, this week about 188, uh, got coming back on vacation, got my diet tight on 184 and a half today. And this will be my first day of actually jumping at the rim since I've kind of become re-obsessed with this. So I really don't know what to expect from multiple things. One, uh, I'm gonna try to take my time on my warm up and really get a process together. I never did that in the past and I think that's why I had some knee problems and stuff. And so like me and Trey were just talking, it's like a max effort jump. And from all my other background of exercise, I should know better. So. Take, take my time in my warm up. I'm gonna showcase that today. And then also see really what my start point is of this kind of uh, process of dunking and how high I can get up vertically, um, running, all that stuff. And then, you know, go against what I believe is gonna be a sick result over a period of time that I'm, I'm willing to put in. So, fucking, who knows? Go get a membership. <laughs> all right, so here we're doing our warm up. I was making fun of Trey because he was uh, videoing me in the Y doing inner thighs, and it was kind of normal. But I did four sets of 20 and getting warmed up. Then this is an isometric lunge. My heel is off the ground on purpose with my knee over my toe to drive some blood into that tendon, which I know sounds crazy, but that's exactly what I was trying to do for 30 seconds each side. And then I did a balance on each leg with the knee slightly over the toe. So we rock, rock and roll back and forth on that for about two minutes each side. And then I threw on the jump soles to just continue the warm up from the standpoint of just jumping rope, putting more pressure on the calves and the Achilles. After that, I got warmed up and I decided to give a few jumps at the rim. Here is my take on these. I look big, slow, and like I can't jump. I did touch the rim and grab the rim a couple times, which is a good start point, but I've got a lot to work. I still got a lot of work to do. After that, I did some toe taps. Now these are really good for shin splints, but I think it's also good just to have no weak, weak link in this chain. I wanna make sure my shin muscles are strong and my calves too, so I finished off with that. And after that, I think we're off. All right, we live, Trey? Yeah. Wow, okay, so I quit playing pickup basketball probably like 10 years ago because of um, just, I compete in powerlifting and bodybuilding and just didn't want to risk any injury to be straight with you. So I get to the gym, I'm warming up, as you guys will see, and one guy goes down and they need a guy in this you know, kind of old guy's basketball league. And to say it felt awful, it's probably a, the grossest understatement I've had in a while. It's pretty bad. Now, my expectations of jumping after I got warm, which honestly, I had zero intentions on playing basketball because I think I'd be basically too tired to jump after I just did legs at the gym. I just did a whole squat session with the guys, the 4M crew. Um, it's about what I expected. I weigh 184 and a half. I'm probably gonna have to weigh 175. Uh, my timing's all screwed up. My, it, it just, nothing felt smooth. So look, I could grab the rim. I could grab it on a drop step after I got warm. And after I took a little, you know, like a baseline run, I could get it pretty good, probably about like right there. So is there a ton of room for improvement? Absolutely. I think a ton of form stuff, body weight down, obviously get stronger and uh, more confident. I know which days to go to the Y now because they play basketball Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So me and Trey can go on Tuesday or Thursday probably just so we can have the gym to ourselves. I really wanted a chance to jump at the rim without doing that, but there's kind of that basketball uh, thing where you're the extra guy and you're saying you don't want to play, which I originally said, and then I thought I was being a dick, so I played, and uh, my jumper's still broken. So that's, that hasn't changed. But anyway, day one, it was the test, and now we know where our start point is. Thanks.